Hi, I'm Meg Joannides. I'm a designer based in Los Angeles, and I'm coming to you from the Thomas Lavin showroom in the Pacific Design Center in Los Angeles. And I'm thrilled to be in this environment to talk to you about the topic of marrying interior design and architecture, and what I've learned about that in the last 20 plus years. Quite simply, the architecture really drives the interior design. Whether we are working side by side with an architect at the beginning of a project, or whether we're working on a home that has already been built, our first task is to study the architecture and to come up with an interior philosophy that we think complements the architecture. Interiors are really two phases. One is the interior architecture phase and one is the furniture phase. Many times we're specifying interior materials, interior details such as baseboards, moldings, interior door styles, millwork. All of these items contribute to the canvas that we will eventually lay our furniture onto. The goal is to have a seamless collaboration between the architect and the interior designer so that you really don't see where one work starts and the other stops. This is a beach house in California on the coast. So this is a perfect example of indoor-outdoor living. We chose a limestone floor which feels very beachy and it's light to the touch. It doesn't get too hot. It works for the outside, it works for the inside, it works for bathrooms, it works for kitchens. So we have the one material throughout the entire house, which really goes along with the architectural style. Here you get a sense of how these furniture shapes really suit the architectural shapes. In this room, for example, we have no walls at all, so the furniture is creating the room divider. I feel like the most successful projects have a very cohesive team. It's not just the interior designer and the architect, but it's the landscape designer, it's the lighting designer. All of us working together, understanding what the other consultant is doing, that creates the most successful project in the end. The most important concept to keep in mind is that you want your interiors to respect the architecture and to harmonize with the architecture. That's what I would say the goal for every project should be.